If there's a car that really seemed to come out of nowhere the last couple years, it's been the Toyota Corolla XSE or more commonly known as the Corolla hatch. We've seen them popping up more and more on Instagram and even more in our gallery. Even our boy Max, our videographer, managed to pick one up. It's like the cool olive like green color. It's a manual, I don't know. It's kind of cool. So we thought it would only be right to take some time to take a look into the new Corolla hatch on today's episode of What Wheels Fit. Before we go ahead and get into it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for wheels, tires, or suspension for your car, and you're watching this because you need to know what's going to fit, don't forget to check out fitmanindustries.com afterward where we have all of that, plus like a whole bunch of more cool stuff, like apparel and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, for the Toyota Corolla XXE, we are going to be looking at a general recommended fitment range of 16 to 20 inches for the diameter, six and a half to nine and a half inches for the width, and offsets landing between plus 35 and plus 50. And you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't really help at all. And you're absolutely right. So that's why we are here to help you out. So we pulled some of these cars from the gallery to help us give you a firsthand look at what some of these different wheel and tire setups look like on these cars. So let's just get right into the first one that we have on the list, which is this black 2019 hatchback with some Cosmos Racing XT 206Rs in the size of 18 by nine plus 33 with a 225 40 Yokohama tire sitting on some BC racing coilovers. Now with this setup, there's no rubbing issues and there was no fender rolling needed to get everything to fit here. So a little bit of tuck going on with this setup with the nine plus 33. Next, we have another 2019, this time with some Avid One AV26s, which is a very popular wheel that we tend to see with a size of 18 by eight and a half plus 35. So going down a half inch in width compared to the last example and getting a little less aggressive with that offset. But the spoke design with this wheel helps quite a bit with that fitment look to it, even though it is a smaller wheel. With a 225-40 tire sitting on some lowering springs, you get this setup that we have here. Getting a little more aggressive with the fitment, we come across this red 2019 with some Avid One AV6s. These are an 18 by 9.5 plus 35 with some Federal 595 tires, 255-35, sitting on some lowering springs as well. These RSR lowering springs are pretty popular. A nice flush fitment here with a decent amount of tire, no rubbing issues, and no fender rolling. However, I would bet that if you went any lower with the car, that maybe it was on like coilovers or something like that, that the the fenders would have to be rolled just a little bit to get that tire setup to work. But either way, good looking car. Sticking with a similar setup, we have this black 2019 sitting on some ESR SR01s with a size of 18 by 9.5 plus 35. So we're just going down in that offset ever so slightly. Wrapped in some Continental Extreme Contact tires, 245-35 for the size, and again sitting on those RSR lowering springs. Very, very common on these cars. So with that being said, if we're looking for a wheel and tire setup that is going to look killer, but still offer you that daily drivability without any rubbing issues or anything like that, an 18 by eight and a half to an 18 by nine and a half or anywhere in between there with an offset landing about plus 40 to plus 35 is going to work well for you. However, we aren't just going to end it there because there's like a whole nother side to these cars that we haven't talked about yet. And those are the cars that you see people just, you know, because people just love to dump the absolute f out of these cars. So next up, we're gonna be going over some setups that are a little more, you know, throw a little more stance into the mix. First up in this category, we have that lovely olive color with this 2019 and some avant-garde M240s with a size of 18 by nine plus 30 with a 225 40 tire sitting on some BC racing coilovers. Now this thing looks absolutely killer. And even though it's an 18 by nine, that plus 30 offset pushes that lip of the wheel out a little bit further, giving them the fitment that we have here. Next, we have our first example on some air suspension. Now this is going to be a similar wheel and tire setup to some of our previous cars on the list. However, I wanted to give an example that showed that on air as as well. So here we have a 2019 with some rotiform BLQs, seeing that 18 by nine and a half plus 35 come back with a 215 40 tire. So running quite a bit of stretch on this one. Now this is all sitting on some Air Force air suspension. Now this next one is kind of crazy because it's like the same dude. It's the same car. He's ran about four or five different setups on this car, but when it comes to wheels, but they all have the same size. So I believe that he's onto something here and I love it. From ESR SR07 to Kanse Tandems to Kanse Rokos to even work Meisters, this blue 2019 is able to pull up an 18 by nine and a half plus 22 damn near perfect with a 215-35 tire on all these setups with some Air Force air suspension. This car can get the look, it can get low and get some pretty crispy fitment. We'll throw his IG tag on the screen here so you can go give him a follow, check him out when he's doing some pretty cool stuff with the car. He's currently running on the new Kansei Roku and I think it looks absolutely killer. 
I like it a lot. Just a quick note, however, there is a three millimeter spacer in the rear on pretty much all these setups that he has ran. It just seems these cars just need a little bit of help when it comes to that rear wheel fitment. You can get by without it. I mean, you really want to dial in a little spacer like a three millimeter will help, but that's just because he is so low on the air suspension. And with all that, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't see the exact setup that you were looking for, or you just want to find out more information on these cars, go check them out on the gallery over at fitmentindustries.com, where we were able to pull all of this information from to provide it to you guys to tell you what wheels are going to fit your car. Other than that, wheel tire suspension, all that available, fitmentindustries.com right now. Go check it out. Subscribe. I think that's it. We'll see you later. Peace.